Just minute, minutes ago at a vaccine summit, outgoing President Trump gave a false and stunning response to a question about how Americans can expect to get the coronavirus vaccine. Well, we're going to have to see who the next administration is because uh, we won. That's not true. Outgoing President Trump lost. I'm not qualified as a news anchor to say why the president continues to state otherwise and spread this lie. I don't know if it's political or if he's cynically lying or if there's some sort of psychological issue. It's probably all three, Jake, with psychological issues being the most dominant. In any case, kudos to you, Jake Tapper. You're the mainstream news anchor who has most consistently, in my view, kept your cool over the past four years, adding even more credibility to your calling out the nonsense. You don't actually have to swear on a Christian Bible. You can swear on anything, really. I don't know if you knew that. You can swear on a Jewish Bible. Oh, uh, no, you can swear I swore on, a, on the Bible. Can, I've done it three times. I'm sure Jake. you have. I'm sure you've picked a Bible, but the law is not that you have to swear on a Christian Bible. That is not the law. You, you don't know that? All right. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for watching. I've had the privilege of anchoring mainstream media news, and take it from me, when you're exasperated with the politicians you're covering, it's not easy to give fact-based, credible, and believable analysis. Throughout the Trump presidency, and of course, during the most recent presidential campaign, Jake Tapper has been a master. The president, even though he, he leaned into it a little bit, but he didn't really go full bore. Yeah which I think was wise, or at least not stupid. Stupid is the perfect word. It's how a majority of Americans have come to view the Trump presidency and Trump administration. The lies have been constant and the lies have been deadly during the coronavirus crisis. Jake Tapper has been aggressive, emotional, and yet true to his professional calling. February 7th, he knew that it was in the air, that it was five yeah, times deadlier being, than the flu. No, five it, times it, deadlier, that's on the tape. He that to Woodward, but at the same time- Two weeks getting, later, he's, he's saying getting, that the he, flu is deadlier than the coronavirus. Jake, Why just, wasn't he honest? You just don't want to listen, Jake. You just I don't want to listen. I want you to answer listen. the question. Boom. Most people on TV, when confronted with, you just don't want to listen, would have escalated and allowed the clash to get personal. But lowering the temperature with a, I just want you to answer the question, is simply brilliant. Now, don't get me wrong, there are times when an anchor should absolutely cut off a guest and not allow a guest to use a platform to lie. Here's my favorite example from the past four years. With his incredible work. Okay, you're not answering major, the questions. No, I understand. You have 24 hours a day of anti Trump material. You're, being, you're not going to give three minutes for the American people I to get hear it. the real experience you're, you, of you, Donald Trump. There's one viewer that you care about right now, and you're being obsequious, no, you're being which, a factotum no, in order being, to please him, okay? No, and I think, you know, I've you know wasted, I I think I've wasted enough of my you viewers' who time. I, you know Thank who I you, care Stephen. About? As Republicans, hey, Jake, lawmakers call you know for Attorney General about? Jeff Sessions to resign. Ouch. And I bet Stephen Miller's still feeling that one. Despite the work of Jake Tapper and a few journalists, I think it's clear that their best efforts still fell in a lot of deaf ears. Donald Trump has underscored that a lot of Americans, a sizable chunk of the U.S. population, simply does not care about facts or policy. It's an embarrassing reality that we're going to have to reconcile with in America for several years. But that reconciliation will be easier thanks to the fearless fact-based approach of journalists who at least start with certain basic integrity. And Jake Tapper has emerged from these past four years with his journalistic integrity not only intact, but also bolstered.